Pat Dave Snyder here. It is April the 2nd, 2014. And I've got to say, this is like mo one of the most revealing overlays I've ever done before. Because, check it out. This this overlay right here of this picture of the moon is reversed over the Earth, right? And I did this overlay almost a year ago. I, I, if not a year. It's somewhere right around a year. I think it's just a little short of a year. And it was the, I, I, I call it the fault line discovery because it... I, there was a weather pattern right here in uh, North America, and I got this picture of South America. But this this is what helped me find find all this. But I did this like almost a year ago, and it hasn't moved. It stayed right this right in the spot, right. I'll fade that out. I showed you that uh, I I aligned this picture to a picture that I just put up. Like a, this picture I just put up, you can see it's just a couple days in the works, right. And this is what I basically brought it up to some I, I, I line these two together or something like that yeah I line these two together and you can see I showed it in the video already anyways one thing led to another and then um, I brought up this other weather pattern right here that I call the key because this is what led me to all this uh, well it, it, actually that the crater was already in place I just I was putting these in place and didn't even associate this crater that I just showed you with these until the very end you've seen it on the video I made the last video but anyways this right here along with that picture I hope I find not that high up I don't think right here okay now you can just check check this out with that if you want I mean just doesn't show well. I gotta get this over the top. Okay, here we go. Okay, it doesn't really show show much with that pat. Yeah, it does. It shows this peak right there. Look at that fall right in place. Boom, right there where that purple spot is. Bam, right in place. You see that where it runs down? Right there. Look, this is such co good confirmation. It's unbelievable. I mean, then okay, I'm gonna take that picture of the of the weather away first. So, so you put it up there probably. The key you had to show it though. So anyways, this over South America, check this out. We didn't really look at it over South America. This is the total confirmation, and, and, and I want you to check out where those, where those earthquakes have been happening in Chile right here. Just, but just check, you got to see the rest of it first to see how it fits. Just check out these lines. The whole thing is absolutely there, like somebody drew it. And these are all pictures from different places this. You can totally see this angle here. I mean, completely. And all this right right here, this whole area here. So it shows that the Amazonite comes from there. It's, that's why they call it Amazon Amazonite in Colorado because these two areas had to be together. I'm, I'm sorry because I put this stuff together before I even brought this picture up and for it to just tie these two continents together that perfect not perfectly, because this was lined up to North America, not South America. This was lined up to North America almost a year ago during a, a weather pattern that was here. I showed it in the last video already, so I'm not going to show it again. But anyways, for it to line up over South America like that, without even adjusting, a, not, I didn't adjust anything. I didn't adjust this to this or this to this at all. They were just fell into, fell into position this way with that one key key picture. You can see the curve. You can see this line all the way down. You can even see where it curves out right here is this curve. Where it curves out the crater. Check it out. That is so interesting. So very interesting. <coughs> Look at that. Look, look at the whole thing. It's totally fitting that. This is a big step right here. If you can't see that. And then look at, there's a, that there's that big area right there where the earthquakes were going on right there out in the ocean. Right there, that big ridge is right there. There's a big ridge. 
on the edge of that on the edge of that crater. So that's your fault line right there. Ooh, you see it. And then here's your new Madrid fault line right here. You want to see that too? I'll show you that too. Your new Madrid fault line. That's that's why I called it fault line discovery. I knew it was pointing out the fault line. And here we go. Where is it? Matter of fault line right there. Right here. I'd say that's somewhat of a fault line right there. It's right in the right spot, right? Yep. Right in the right spot. Oh, I wanted to show you something else with the uh, South America. Damn it. South America. Look at this spot right here. This area here. Check it out. Just fell right into place. Look at this right here. This angle. Ooh. Scary. I mean, that's so perfect for right around that spot. It is scary. Wow. See that right there? Everything. That is wild. You'll never see it. I haven't seen them. This is best. Got to be the best one I've done over the land, for sure. For sure. No doubt about that. Wow. This one should open some eyes. Maybe I said that in the last video, but this one right—I wasn't pointing it out as well as I should have. This is the. This is what you need to see. This picture, I've been working with it for a long time. I've used, I've matched it up with other images of Mare Oriental Basin, and there's some differences in the in the in the details, but they're still they sh they show the same thing. I can put I can put any picture up here and get it to fit really nice, just like this. Not as good as this. This is the best picture I've been able, been able to ever find. <coughs> I know you guys can see that. So, hope you like that one. Have a great night. What's left of it?